Microsoft Teams is an app that allows you to work together with your teams, as the name implies, in various different ways. So you have teams where you can then have channels underneath it, and these can have posts and files that are stored within it and lots more tabs up here as well. You also have chat where you can chat to people inside your organization or outside, one-on-one uh, -on -one or group chats and activity for notifications, and it's kind of like a calling platform as well. A way you can manage your files, which are otherwise stored in SharePoint or OneDrive, can also be viewed on here. You can also add custom apps like these ones. Some are built in like tasks and virtual appointments. And then we're going to go into calendar because because although Teams Premium is its own standalone license, that means you have to pay $7 per month per user extra on top of the Microsoft 365 package that you have to access Teams. The only reason where it differs is for meetings. For example, one of the things is here, you can have the a fourth or fifth or more options in custom meetings. Schedule meeting, live event and webinar, these are available for Teams free users, although webinar has some new features that are premium only that we'll look at soon. But if you wanna have more things like here, I have QA on and no lobby, then you need to do that with Teams Premium. So let's say that I create one of those. I do need to add in a title and add someone. And then over here, I can join the meeting. And you have this as normal for default when you join, but with Premium, you can have custom branding like this, where you have your logo and you have this green, which is the custom branding that I am choosing because that matches my logo. And also, of course, I have this image that is not directly in your Teams meeting. So uh, you can have branding as well. Note that there's not that much branding. Most of it stays as is. So here I am in a Teams premium meeting where everything I say is being automatically translated into Hebrew. If you want to do that, you click these three dots and you can change the spoken language. So I'm going to switch to something else. I'm going to say French, confirm, and then I'm going to change this to English. Maintenant, je vais parler en français et ça va me traduire en anglais. Qu'est-ce que tu penses? Est-ce que ça va marcher bien? Je pense que ça marche assez bien. Oui, oui, c'est pas mal. Mais je vais terminer ça et je vais oublier ce truc. So how do you get to that? You go to more and language and speech. And this is available for absolutely everyone using Teams. But the ability to click the three dots that we just saw is only available for Teams Premium. I'm going to change my spoken language back to English. Confirm. Now, is this amazing? Yes. Is it game changing? No. I have this idea, this dream that I'll be able to have a meeting with someone who's only speaking Japanese, someone else who's only speaking Arabic, and it is automatically translating for us. But the fact that you need to choose your spoken language, what language is everyone speaking, just makes me convinced that it will not work as well in that scenario. So yeah, it's a dream that's not yet enabled, but I'm sure will be soon. They say there's 40 languages. Uh, this, the, the rest of this blog post shows you things 40, I'm going to show you in the And especially this video. with this one, you have different versions of English. So that might be how they get to 40. I also wish I could search, but none of these things are searchable, which is a bit of a shame. So that is a Teams premium feature only. Uh, I have now the ability in all Teams meetings to change the video effects. So as you can see, I'm now using this filter. If I go to none, this is more normal. And then I can press none here as well. And this is how my background and my colors really, really look. You can have your meeting things that you can upload here, your virtual backgrounds, but uh, you can add new that's available for everyone. What is available only for Teams Premium is the ability for the organization to put in default here some organizational ones. Uh, these are available for everyone as well. So most of these things are unchanged from premium to regular. So chat, people, raise hands, reactions, view, Q&A, uh, breakout rooms, apps in particular. I love adding the forms app. I think polls in meetings are a must have, uh, especially when you're doing webinars and things like that. So then most of these things are the same as well, but you do have some slight differences in the settings and meeting options. Let me take off the language and speech. By the way, this speaker coach thing, this is a new feature that's available for everyone. I'll turn that on. Okay, so now it's doing it. It's kind of going to tell me if I'm speaking too fast or too slow, etc., and gives me a report afterwards. So now that we have meeting options, what is default and what is new for premium? New for premium, sensitivity labels. I'll talk about these later on. 
also new for premium is this one, manage what attendees can see. So if you turn this on, they'll only be able to see what you put on the screen. So your shared screen and people that you specifically spotlight. Also the ability to enable the green room. This is a webinar only feature, so I can enable it here. Who can record? So whether it's organizers or you can specify, these two are only for premium as are these ones, which is watermarks. Watermarks I'll go through in a little bit as well. Meeting theme, as I showed you, these are green instead of the default blue. End-to-end -end encryption, that's also only a feature for Teams Premium. So the meeting theme here is interesting. It does give you that personal touch. However, it isn't perfect because it only gives you subtle things of certain things that come in green. It doesn't really let you customize that much more. And the custom photo that you have, that appears when people click join the meeting and in the waiting room slash the lobby. However, there are pop-ups that are above that that cover it. So it's kind of difficult to predict where it's going to overlap and where it's not. And depending on which device people are on, they will see a different combination of the logo, the photo, and the colors. For example, from mobile, you only see the logo and the colors. Uh, from a web browser, it's a different combination, etc. So translations actually appear for absolutely everyone in the meeting, as long as the meeting organizer has Teams Premium. The rest of the people don't need to have Teams Premium for the translation feature to work. Then you also have the watermark feature. So the watermark is to sort of stop people from leaking stuff from the meeting. Essentially, it goes with an email address, their own email address all over the video and all over shared content so that if they were to go and leak this to the press, then the press would be able to see that that's clearly coming from the one person. So that is how it is. So I see my email address, uh, Craig sees his email address. In fact, let's go to a meeting with Craig and we'll see how the watermarking feature looks. So here I am with my friend Craig and I have the watermark feature turned on, which means that my email address is showing all over everything, the shared content and his video, everything apart from my own video. So I am in a blog about Teams Premium. The AI stuff is the highlight of Teams Premium, not yet available. So focus on what matters the most. So chat GPT like things will be able to summarize a meeting with AI notes. So you'll be able to join the meeting a little bit late and say, hey, what did I miss in the first 30 minutes of the meeting? And you'll also be able to get an AI generated task list from that intelligent recap is what they're calling it. Then on the recording of the meeting, there'll be AI generated chapters with divisions of when you start, when you join and left and also who speaks. So it will be expand to say who speaks when. So when you start and leave, this is available currently, but who speaks and when that is coming soon. Here is the AI auto generated notes and task list as well. So meeting customization, if I go to meet now, and I'm going to press start meeting, then it first loads with the default blue, but if you give it a little bit of time, it will change to this, where I have my logo up here, I have a custom image background there, and I have the green color instead of the standard blue color. So then I'm going to go to join now, and here I am in the regular Teams meeting. So if I click on more and video effects, I also get these backgrounds here that are on top of my regular backgrounds. So these are the ones that I can choose. Of course, I can add new and upload it, but if I want these to be available for everyone, then I would need to envisage that here. So you click on here, go to admin, and that will bring you to this, and then you choose Teams, and that will bring you to the Teams admin center that looks like this. And then in the Teams Admin Center under Meetings, you go to Customization Policies. See here it says Premium. I'm going to click on that. You can add policies that are not for the entire organization if you have subsets of people with different branding. But here we're just going to go to this one. And then you have the theme. And I can preview the theme. So this looks kind of like what I showed you just now. But if you want to edit that, you can. And here you have the custom meeting backgrounds where you can add, and these are actually virtual backgrounds, that's how Zoom calls it, because it wasn't incredibly clear to me what a meeting background means, but it means your virtual background when you have a video on. So you can add, and then these will show up for everyone, just these show up up here as well. 
So that is a premium feature. You can also do backgrounds for together mode. That's another Teams premium feature. It used to be available for everyone, but now it's premium only. So here we have the meeting theme and I can click on it and edit it. And here I have my custom logo that I can change or upload. Here I have the custom image. Note the restrictions here. And here I have the custom color that I choose. And that is how you can edit it. You also have meeting templates. So here I have new meeting and I have a drop down with usually three items. This is in the default version, but you can add more that you want down here as well. So I added this one, for example, and I can create a new meeting. So here I am in the meeting and it opens up options and these are the options. So I'm letting everyone bypass the lobby. Most of the others are the same, except there is a Q&A. So for example, if I were to save that. So let me join that meeting. So here I'm in the meeting and I have this Q&A dialog box and also I can go to the meeting settings and then options and then see the things I set up in that way. So I'll show you how to set up a meeting template next. So I'm going to say this is going to be no chat or video. And then I'm going to say this is going to be highly confidential and uh, invited users only can bypass the lobby. Uh, Turn these on, enable mic and camera for attendees. So I'm going to enable the mic, but not the camera. And record meetings automatically off. Going to turn off the chat, so disabled. And no reactions, but the Q&A is on. And then I'm going to save. So add a description. So uh, confidential and save. And it does take a little bit of time to come up, but it will. You also have the template policies. So this is all wide. I'm just letting everyone in the organization as Teams Premium able to see those policies, which is fine. So here I'm in a special Teams Premium only meeting with some features, for example, end-to-end -end encryption. And it says, while audio, video, and screen sharing are end-to-end -end encrypted, some features are not, which is why there is a more limited list of things that you have here. For example, breakout rooms is not available and things like that. If I click on this, this is a security thing, I can see that is end-to-end -end encryption is enabled. So I also have the ability here to bring on screen what I want. So here I have my video and I can choose to bring on screen and it will go in the middle. And then I am controlling what the audience and members can see. The way to get that is in settings and then meeting options. And then over here, it's this really, really long one, manage what the attendees can see. Uh, sensitivity labels, these are kind of just pre-packaged things. So if you go to compliance.microsoft.com and then you navigate to this one, information protection, then labels for sensitivity labels. You get these labels and labels apply in lots of different apps, including Excel, Word, PowerPoint, also Power BI and the regular teams as well. So if you want, you can configure them by clicking on it and then choosing edit label. And then here, press next, and then enable it for meetings, next. And then here is what you're going to do for meetings, protect meetings and chats. And then here, underneath meetings and chats, are the things for Teams meetings. So uh, control end-to-end -end encryption, who can bypass the lobby, etc. These are things that you would see in the regular Teams meetings. A couple of them are different though. So prevent copying chat content to clipboard that you don't see in the regular Teams meetings that people can get set up. So if you keep going next, 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 and then set them up, then this will allow you to be able to choose sensitivity labels in your Teams meetings. So in a Teams meeting here, then you can go to settings and then meeting options. Then you have the sensitivity label here, which comes from that. So webinars are available in the regular Teams, but in Teams Premium, you have a few extra features. So I'm going to say this is going to be tutorial and then click save. And then if you go to registration and configuration, then these two are Teams Premium only features. So require manual approval and enable the waitlist. So this means that if you don't have it enabled, then everyone who signs up will join the, the webinar. But I suspect that that's not what most people want. So this one in particular, I think is a reason to choose Teams Premium for your webinars. Uh, enable the waitlist. So if you have a capacity of a thousand and then more than a thousand sign up, they will go through the waitlist and then they can be approved eventually. Not something I see as often happening, but these two, this first one is very, very important. You will also be able to send reminders about the webinar if it is done through Teams Premium. 
So here I am in a webinar, and this is something called a green room. Uh, if I click start meeting, then everyone will come in. But for here, I can just have a pre-discussion with the other meeting organizers uh, in this green room type of thing. So start meeting will start that. This is a Teams premium only feature, uh, as is the ability to click here and bring on screen. And then I can bring on exactly what I want the participants to be able to see. So this is also a Teams premium only feature. Uh, you can get to these settings by going to more settings in the meeting options, as I've shown many times in this video. And then here you have this one. And the green room is only available if you're using Teams Premium. And if you're using webinars, regular meetings, this is not enabled. So start meeting. We'll tell you how many people will enter. There you go. Now I've started the meeting and now it's a regular webinar that come with settings. So here I'm in virtual appointments, which you can get to from apps over here, and then you can right click and pin it if you want to. And virtual appointments is a way to kind of schedule, I don't know, consultation calls where people can come in and have like a virtual meeting without needing a separate app for it. So it's linked to Microsoft bookings that I have another video where I talk about. And what is premium is all the stuff with a diamond there. So queuing. So people in a line, uh, there's someone currently there and the, the other person gets told you're third in line for the queue. Analytics on these people coming and certain types of management stuff that is more advanced as well. So I'm not gonna go through this in detail because it is a different aspect. So if you click on this cog and then you go to admin, you get to this and then active users, this is where you Navigate who gets access to the Teams Premium thing. So you activate that and then save changes. And make sure you tick everything that is related to Teams Premium because I didn't know first and then things didn't come up immediately. So there are lots and lots of things here like Teams Premium virtual appointments, webinar and stuff, secure. So make sure you tick all of these things to ensure that that happens. Uh, and, and navigate to the active users that need to do that. Note, you do need to have permissions for that. Then if you go to Teams, you get to this, and this is the Teams Admin Center. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name is David Lyman. I have tons of videos on Excel, PowerPoint, Teams, Google Sheets. If you're using Tech of the Web Place, I'm covering on my channel, so check out my other videos on that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.